All right, my friends, it's time for another fantastic Revit tip. Today, we're going to talk about sloped ceilings. Come up a few times on how do you slope ceiling? How do you make a coffer ceiling? How do we deal with ceilings that are at an angle inside our projects? So without any further ado, here we go. I'm going to share my screen with you, my friends. Here we are. All right, so wait for it. We are going to go to our, our beautiful little building here. You guys love it. It's your favorite little architect's office. And um, let's go to the plan. Okay, here's the floor plan. And in this, there's ceilings in this. In fact, the ceiling plan that we've got here, I've got the bathroom and it's open to above at the stair. There's a conference room with a ceiling. And everything's flat right now. Say we got an eight foot ceiling, an eight eight foot four in the bathroom, eight foot. We can we've got a a soffit across here, and that's at eight foot. So everything's like blah 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 eight feet. But what if it were sloped? Ah, okay. So let me just show you. I put a little ceiling over here so I could jerk it around a little bit and give you a good example. A couple of things you may or may not know. I put a section through this little ceiling. It's at eight foot high, and I've got a recessed um, fluorescent fixture in it, and I've also got a surface mounted circular fixture. So I'm going to cut a section through it, and you're going to see, let me get rid of no slope word so it's not bothering us. Okay, look at this. These are the exterior, even though, look, this section goes right through the middle of the fixture. When you are in Rabbit and you cut through a fixture, a lighting fixture, it shows you the elevation of it. It does not, it shows you the elevation. It does not show you the true section. In Revit, you have to cut through like a generic model to get a true section of something. So we just dismiss it because no one really cares about sections through lighting fixtures. Just saying. Okay, so here we go. Let's change the slope on this. I'm going to go back to the ceiling here. Now, look at this. It's eight feet high. If I click on this ceiling, here's how you slope ceilings. You click edit boundary to get to this magenta line mode. We're in sketch mode, okay? Right now, of course, you could change the perimeter shape of this, and the shape of your ceiling would change. You can also draw a shape out on its surface and that, my friends, would cut a hole in your ceiling, okay? You could put a ton of holes all over the place and make it a perforated ceiling, hmm? okay? So I'm just, go I'm just gonna tell you that. But right now in this sketch mode is when up here at the top of your screen, you'll see um, a slope arrow tool appear, okay? The boundary line is how we get this perimeter, but the slope arrow is how we slope the ceiling. Makes sense, right? So if I hit slope arrow, I put an arrow on this ceiling, okay? I'm gonna put an arrow. I'm gonna say from this left side over to the right side, and the end of my line is touching right there, and this end of the arrow head is touching this side, okay? It's it's fairly obvious to me which end of this line is the head, like the arrowhead, and which end is the tail. Okay. That I can't help you with that if you can't tell the difference between the head and the tail on this. Okay. I just can't. But what you've got here, here are your options. When you look over at your properties. You have to click on the arrow, the slope arrow, and the slope arrow's properties pop up. And there's two settings. On You can specify the height at the tail. That's See, it says specify. You're going to specify the height at the tail, or look at the drop-down, slope. Let's talk about slope first. So if I click on slope, this is where if you need a ceiling to match the slope of your roof, like in a vaulted living room. If you've got a six and 12, well then you just change it right here to six and 12. And that 
puts into this slope arrow the fact that it's 6 and 12. Now let's talk about where the ends are. In When you put it on slope, this arrow doesn't have to touch the edges, okay? It's going to slope across from this side to this side at 6 and 12, period, okay? One, um, it, it will, but there is, the, where the tail is actually matters because you're specifying on this slope arrow what the offset is from, this ceiling was at eight foot, right? If I, I got to get the slope tail to touch the edge. So this edge right here now is going to be the default is the whatever height I set the ceiling at, eight feet. Height offset, I'm gonna set that at zero. Duh, because I want this left edge to be at default or at whatever I set the ceiling at, eight feet. And then it's gonna slope arrow, slope six and 12. So if I hit the checkbox, it happens, okay? Now, watch what happened. I think it's tipping downward because six and 12 down, but we're gonna go to our handy dandy um, section and check it. I was wrong, it's sloping up. Okay, so take a look. It sloped up at a plus six and 12. And if I had a roof here, it would match it perfectly, okay? It leans, so I click on that guy and I can change the slope right here. Eight and 12, take it down to four and 12. Okay, I can adjust the slope of that ceiling. You'd think the video was done with that, but no, not yet. Okay, so look at this. I'm gonna move this ceiling. When I click on it, it's, watch this. You see the height offset from the first floor is eight feet. Well, if I set it at 10 feet, okay, then you can see that this ceiling is set with that default corner right there. That edge is at zero from default. Okay, so let's go back. I'm gonna click on it and hit edit boundary again. It says, what view do you wanna be in, Mike? Okay, I'm gonna click on the ceiling plan. So we go back to the ceiling plan. Okay, now watch this. If I bring the tail out here, like to the edge of that light fixture, I'm just gonna bring it right to the edge of the light fixture. The tail is at the edge of the light fixture and I'm gonna leave it at zero default. So I'm not altering the height of the ceiling. Y yes, I am. I am I am altering the height of the ceiling because I just moved the tail to a new location. So this point where I put the tail is going to be at the default. Okay. So if I check the box, let's, whoa, what is going on visually? Okay. That's really weird. Let's go back to the section and look at this. Okay. So, right, I don't know why that fixture moved on me. Hello, you, you dude, you were supposed to stay down here, okay? The fixture moved. If anybody can tell me in the comments why that moved, you, you win a, a major prizes, okay? But look, right there where the edge of the fixture was, it is at the default 10 feet, okay? I'm just saying, that's what happens right there. It, it puts the end of the arrowhead exactly at the height you want. So you can adjust this thing, okay? So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna click on it, say edit boundary, what view do you wanna be in, back to ceiling plan, okay. So the other way to set the height is not by slope, four and 12, six and 12, eight and 12. You can actually specify the exact height you want. And here's how you do it. You switch it from slope to height at tail. Now I'm just, I don't know why it doesn't just say height at head, but it says height at tail because tail is important. So now when you switch it to height at tail, the exact location of the tail, which was already important, remains important. But it also makes the head important also. So I'm going to move it to the other side. So watch what I'm doing here. When you switch the settings on this arrowhead, this slope arrow to height at tail, you get to set the exact, exact height from default 
for the head and the tail. So let's go to the tail first, because that's what we did first. The default is the 10 feet and zero offset is where I have it set. So that, that edge of my ceilings would be exactly at 10 feet, but I can put the head anywhere I want. So it's gonna go default plus zero. That means it's gonna be flat. But if I say default plus two foot eight, I'm just saying, it's gonna take this edge and move it up to 10 foot eight or wherever I put the arrowhead. If I move the arrowhead back here, that point is going to be ten at two foot eight above the the uh, default. So I'm just going to go to the edge and hit done. Okay. And the ceiling thinks it's at ten feet, but it's not. Okay. And then I'm going to delete that because take a look when I go to annotate a spot um, elevation everywhere along this thing is going to be different because from the left side is 10 foot and on the right side what somebody say it 12 8 right look bing 12 8 so wherever you put this in the middle that will tell you the exact height at that point it doesn't really matter on this example so i'm going to open up my section and show you okay there we go so the underside edge is indeed at two foot eight. Look at that, two, eight. Okay, so that's how you deal with sloping your ceiling. If you've got a constant slope in the ceiling, you can set it by slope arrow um, to get it to slope. And then you can set it by telling it the slope or you can tell it the a height at the head or the tail. Okay, all right. Now, what if you wanted to coffer a ceiling? Okay, so we're gonna go back to our ceiling plan. We're gonna say, yes, thank you very much that we cut all over on that ceiling and messed with it, but here we are. Now, we're going to coffer this ceiling. Like sometimes master bedrooms have a coffered ceiling and it's not just a slope that follows up. Okay, so let me just show you. If you've got um, oh, each surface, each ceiling is has to be a separate ceiling. Oh, my goodness. You cannot in Revit yet, like a floor, you can click on a floor and edit its surface. And you can do that to a roof, too. You can click on a roof and edit the surface. But you can't do that with a ceiling yet in Revit. So even in Revit 2023, each of the surfaces needs to be set differently and separately. So here's how I would do it. Here, my friends, is how I would coffer the ceiling in this conference room, okay? Or in this lobby. Okay, I'm gonna pick the ceiling. I'm gonna say edit boundary, okay? And I'm just gonna put a rectangle on top of it. I'm not gonna be too precise, but that's gonna be the flat edge around it. And I lost my light fixtures, oh well, okay? So now I've got a flat ceiling around the edge of this, and I am going to give it a spot elevation on it. Of uh, there, you can see it; it's eight feet. Okay, eight feet is that section going around, but I want to coffer up like eight inches. All right, so I am going to make another ceiling. Okay, so here's what we do: I can pick the existing ceiling and type C A on the keyboard, and I mean C S. <laughs> create similar. I don't want to use the automatic tool. I want to switch over to sketching. Okay. So I'm going to click sketch. So everything ghosts and now I'm sketching. So I would like to be right on that edge. I'm going to go up at a 45 degree angle. Okay. Right there. And then on this corner, I'm going to come down at a 45 degree angle. And I want this thing to be like a foot wide. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to click on that edge and say, copy and point to the right and type in uh, one foot, okay? And then I'm gonna use trim to trim this out. Okay, now before we leave, let's take a look. This is gonna be flat because I haven't put a slope arrow on it. If I just hit done, we got a flat piece right here. But I'm gonna click slope arrow, okay? And I'm gonna put a slope arrow on this. I want it to slope up. So I click on the left and I move my arrow to the right. I, I know the arrowhead is monstrous in this view, but that's how it is. 
I want this at default at the tail. I'm going to say default plus zero, but at the head, default plus eight inches. Okay, so I'm going to slope it up eight inches and check the box. So now we've got a, I'm going to cut, uh, I'm going to go to this section to show you what we've got. What is it doing way up there? Okay, hold on. Um, oh, I set it at, this This ceiling's at eight feet. I need to have the default of the new one at eight feet also. One of you guys saw that coming and didn't stop me, okay? So what we've got here is this thing is sloping up from the default. If I highlight it, you'll see default is at eight feet. It's sloping up one foot to that other side, okay? We can go back to the ceiling plan. There she is. Bam, bam, bam. The quickest way to get your other sides of the coffer is just use mirror. So I'm going to highlight that thing and hit mirror based on the center of the ceiling. Boom. So we got the other side already done. I can also copy this ceiling wherever I want. I can rotate it like 90 degrees, okay? And then move it using this corner and put it up there. But I need to edit it to get it longer. So I'm going to hit edit boundary. And I can use a line. A L align. Go over here. U. And it goes all the way. You don't have to have your slope arrow in any particular special place on the ceiling. It just has to be on it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to hit finish. And then I'm going to mirror that one over. So mirror to the other side. Mirror based on the center of that guy. Goes to the other side. So we've got a coffer here, but no ceiling at the center. Let's go ahead and move our section up a little bit and then go to that section. You just right click on the line and click go to view. Okay. So look, we've got a ceiling coffered up, but it's open. And so if you're standing in this lobby below, you could see these joists going by if they were um, individual joists, you'd be able to see them. Let's go back to the ceiling and we need a ceiling in here that is at eight, eight. So all I gotta do is pick an existing ceiling, create similar, which is CS, go to sketch mode, verify that this is at eight, eight this time, and just put a rectangle right there and done, okay? So that's a coppered ceiling. Let me put in a slope elevation um, right here, take a look. 8, 8, and this goes from 8, 8 up to 8. So anywhere along it, just like on that other ceiling, it's going to tell you what the height is, okay? And then after you've got it up there, you can go ahead and put some light fixtures on it. Let me just go get a round, let me just get a, uh, a can light, okay? A down light. And so create an instance of that. So I can put lights now on the ceiling up at 8 feet, 8, 8. I can put lights on the soffit going around the edge. You can actually also put can lights on the slope. Wait for it. Boom, boom, boom. Right, can you see that? They're going in at an angle. If you can see it, they're going in at an angle. They're on the slope. In fact, I'm going to make sure that these, my friend, are going right through the section so you can see it. And then we're going to go to that section. Go to view. There we go. See the can lights up there? Oh, man. Can lights are hitting structure. We are going to have to deal with this. These can lights around the edge are not hitting structure. But we had a problem with the ones that are in out on the main surface. We're going to have to probably go with surface. Don't you love Revit? It gives you instant feedback on your design decisions. All right. So we'll have to go with surface mounted ones out here because the tolerance to structure is too close. So my friends, I just wanted to um, show you all exactly how it is that you slope a ceiling and um, coffer a ceiling if need be. All right, if you guys have any questions about sloped ceilings and the different settings, just put them in the comments below. All right. You guys have a fantastic day. And until we meet again, happy riveting. All right. Bye-bye.